Hey everyone, I'm here with the September favorites video and this is the beginning of October. I'm still using these items and then I'd like to show you two new fragrances that I have. One of them I picked up the beginning of last month. It's the Ed Hardy Villain. This is the small size from Target. It was about $15. I did see at Walmart they now have the True Religion Hippie Chick for $12 so I'll definitely be going back for that because I've wanted it for a while but I didn't want to pay the full price for it at Bonton. Bonton's our main department store in our mall. It's a very small mall. That's the only one that has a makeup counter and a fragrance counter and I didn't want to pay $59 or so for the fragrance. I actually wanted the Ed Hardy because the bottle was so pretty. The, the lid of it, it is a mermaid on the big size. The small size works, a little goes a long way, and it's worth it if you're wanting to try out a fragrance. The other fragrance I just bought this on Friday is the Lady Gaga Fame. This one was 55 It goes on black, but it's clear once it's on your skin. It's just a black liquid. It's really cool concept. And... I sent hints of licorice in this. It's a very unique fragrance. I'm very picky about fragrance. I tried out the Nicki Minaj and it came with a cute bottle, a cute free pink bag. I also tried the new Ed Hardy and it's a skull bottle and it also came with the original Ed Hardy gift set. The lotion, the perfume, and the body spray for free which is a great deal and I really like that fragrance. I have it, one of my first fragrances, but wasn't crazy about it. I did like this one though. I thought it would pick it up. Let's start in with the favorites. The first one is the Pink Sugar Plum Fragrance from Bath & Body Works. As we're going from summer into fall, I've really been loving this fragrance. In the summer, I go for a more light, sweet fragrance. In the fall winter, I go for a deeper fragrance, a sexier scent, and the villain definitely fits that. And I really like this. It's a berry plum scent. It's really nice. It has great lasting power for being a body splash. It lasts all day. This is from last year's holiday collection, so I doubt they still have it. Another favorite is a blush. It's a MAC. Super Continental Limited Edition Powder Blush. It's a satin, and this is from the Style Seeker Collection. Peachy Pink. I thought it would be a good dupe for My Highland Honey, but it's not. My Highland Honey is a true peach. This pulls a lot of pink. It's definitely a peachy pink. It's very natural, though. It brightens up your skin. I love it. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it, and I love the satin finish. Very smooth to apply. Another blush that I've been loving is the Mark Just Blushing in Love Spell. It's a gorgeous everyday baby doll pink color. That's replacing the Good Glowing Blushes by Mark. These are supposed to be long lasting and last all day, and they really do. The pigmentation is great. I also have it in the shade Afterglow, which is the name of a shade they had previously with the old formula. And that one is a corally peachy pink with shimmer. I've been told that it has less shimmer than the older version. Another favorite is this eyeshadow palette. It's the On The Dot Neutral Palette by Marc. And I've been loving it for fall. I love neutrals and browns and I actually keep this in my purse so some days when I'm running a little bit late in the morning I'll do my makeup in the car when I get to work this is perfect to throw in your bag another favorite is a mark lash act mascara love it it does a great job of lengthening lashes if you turn this two different ways, you get two different effects on the brush. It's a defining mascara. The brush works great for the bottom lashes. 
it really defines the lashes without clumping that. And I love how I can layer it without clumping. A lot of mascaras clump up. The new Avon one, the dramatic one that's in a purple tube, that one definitely clumped up when I used it. Another favorite is foundation. I've been using this for the past month. I'm continuing to use it every day is the CoverGirl and Olay Tone Rehab in shade 157, which is golden tan. Love it. It's very, very smooth to apply. It blends well. It worked well when my skin was more oily in the summer. Now that it's getting on the drier side, it's perfect. Great for normal to dry skin. There's a built-in primer in this. And I've been using this since last Christmas time, actually. I had shade 160, which was too dark. This shade's perfect for me. Love it. My skin's sensitive and a lot of foundations I can't use every day. But this one I can use daily with no problem. I'd say it's about medium coverage. It covers well. It's not going to give you completely full coverage. It won't give you a matte finish. It's a demi-matte natural finish. Another foundation that I've really been loving is the new Mark Got the Goods Multi Benefit Foundation Lotion. It's along the lines of a tinted moisturizer. The first impressions video, it wasn't, I didn't give a great first impressions. But once I tried the sample of this in shade 6, this is 7, was a little bit too dark. Shade 6 is perfect. So... I did an exchange and I should be receiving shade 6 with the next campaign. It's on days when I don't want a lot of coverage. Like I said, it's more on the lines of a tinted moisturizer. Again, when I set it with my MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder, which I'm on my second compact of, and that's a favorite. It's been a favorite for a while. I set it with that to get more coverage. It's perfect for a natural look. If you like full coverage, you're not going to like that foundation, though. And another favorite, this is a brush by Marc. It's a limited edition powder brush for the holidays. Very soft teddy bear hairs. It's pink. It's gorgeous. Blends like a dream. I love it with my NARS Casino bronzer. That's another favorite, though I don't have it on me right now to show you guys. It's like Laguna, but it's darker, and it's more of a red-based, whereas I heard Laguna's more golden. I got it in a swap on Makeup Alley. I swapped out my Laguna Illuminator just because I loved it, but it wasn't practical for me every day. I prefer a powder bronzer. Casino's great. If you're my skin tone or darker, go with Casino. Don't even look twice at Laguna. You will love Casino for contour. I use it every day. Just another thing about this foundation. It is pricey. It's $18, which is on the pricier side for Mark and Avon. Whereas the CoverGirl and Olay, I've seen it for about $13.99 or so. $10.99, depending on where you get it. That's something to think about because this one does give you more coverage. So those are my favorites. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you'd like me to review any products, let me know. And I hope everyone has a great week.